Hello and welcome. In this video I'll be showing you how to use uh, Beyond Visual Range and uh, Infrared Seeking uh, Armament in the Rafale uh, by Quest Brothers. Um, so I have a Rafale uh, mic here which is the air to air variant so it will have the SU-33 avionics in it uh, from Flame Cliffs 3 and the armament well there is quite a list um, so we've got AIM-9 Pappas here <coughs> but you could have AIM-9 Mikes uh, Micas or Magic 2s uh, next to that I've got the MBDA Meteor uh, you can have AMRAMs, uh, AIM-120s, AIM uh, Bravos and Charlies or you can even have Sparrows <coughs> and I've got a Super 530D here which is the replacement for the uh, Mica um, which is here. Uh, here I have the Match Magic 2s either side and this one obviously AIM-20 Charlie um, but you could have a Sparrow again. So there's quite a list of armament there. Um, plenty to choose from. Um, Meteor and AIM-120s uh, being the best for the longest range um, and then you've got Super 530Ds and the AIM-9s which are pretty good at short range um, the Matra Magic 2s, uh, they're okay not fantastic but we'll get into the map and uh, I'm just off the coast of Batumi and I've got two pairs of uh, MiG-29 Sierras here uh, and they'll be circling around um, just using them as drones in this one so um, just showing you how to squeeze off a few missiles and um, we'll get into the cockpit okay so we are in the aircraft and we are in the armed mode um, so I've taken that annoying um, pitch ladder off um, being currently being nailed by the MiG-29s which are over there and over there um, so what we're going to do is you're going to want to press the 2 key or whatever you're bound to beyond visual range as you can see it's given me the choice of the meteor if I do weapons um, switch you can go to AIM-120C um, and I'll just run through the keys that you're going to need so obviously these are different modes this is the one we'll be using today and the longitudinal missile aiming mode as well if we get close enough um, and then from there you're going to want to go to sensors um, you're going to want to use the electro optical system which um, on the SU-27 SU-33 is that glass dome just below the can front of the canopy uh, which houses um, an infrared seeker head uh, separate to the missiles uh, and you can use that to um, guide those missiles uh, or at least uh, search or track for a target via that um, that sensor um, you're going to want to use your radar obviously um, and you're going to want to be able to switch between range well scan and track well scan and to change the pulse repetition um, scan down up down up, down left up right this is so that you can move the uh, radar dish in the nose cone um, I'll show you how that works in a minute um, obviously you don't want the uh, target lock and um, be able to move the designating uh, cursor I've got that assigned to an axis um, and then finally on the weapons cannon if you're going to be getting close enough to use it launch motion override which is always handy to have um, just in case it doesn't give you a solution but you think that there is a possibility you could get a kill from it you can override that and uh, launch the missile change the weapon obviously and then fire in the missile so let's get back into the cockpit okay so we're going to flick the radar on <coughs> and you 
you can tell that the radar is on because of the I double L there or ill. Uh, you're in BVR, it's in scan mode, and um, all the relevant bits and pieces. Uh, if I move it around, you can see that I'm getting a cursor move around, and these are our targets here. Um, I click on one of them, and you can see we're tracking now. Um, this is telling us which way the aircraft is going, so it's currently running cold, almost cold, away from us. Um, but we do have uh, a lock, and this is our uh, range ladder with our maximum minimum uh, range for launching the missile. If we go through the different weapons, 530D there, um, got sh much shorter range. Um, and the aim 120s obviously I can lock up again no okay well uh, you can move your um, radar dish um, from left to right and as you can see I've just moved it to the right there so now I'm scanning in this direction, bring it back to the middle, and now I'm scanning what's in front, and over the, I press left, and now I'm scanning over here. Um, you can ov obviously change the altitudes at which you scan at. Uh, this little bar here being the um, indicator of which, which way your uh, dish is actually looking at the moment, and now I can go all the way up to the top there and now I'm scanning basically up here somewhere and then obviously you can do the same looking down as you can see as, I, as I'm scanning up there nothing showing on here bring it back down to neutral and in the middle and we're getting our targets back and, and we can obviously scan down and we're going to lose the targets again so that's always handy to to have so you can look around instead of keep throwing the aircraft around to try and find a target. So that's the radar. Uh, obviously you've got electro optical mode um, which is this. It looks very similar to the um, radar mode except you've got EO to let us know that we are in ele ele electro optical mode. So the imaginary uh, seeker head is now in control. Now we don't have any targets currently in front of us, so I can't lock on to anything. As on MiG 29s are over there. But if I get onto the 530D, which is an infrared seeking missile, I'm going to no point in moving the radar because that won't have any bearing on it. So if we come out of active pause, I'm going to turn into the target. And this is a good sneaky way of being able to um, fire off a missile without being seen on radar because you can have this active without um, any radiation being emitted from the aircraft uh, so you can f secretly sl uh, slip off a uh, missile uh, and get away without um, being seen on any of the s scanning equipment um, so it's always good to have um, obviously very common on Russian aircraft, MiG-29, SU-33, SU-27, SU-30, uh, all the SUs, SU-57's even got one. Um, so, yeah, uh, they're kind of sneaky that way. What we're going to do, I'm going to get into afterburner to try and squeeze that in. There we go, we've got a target. Now the 530D is now scanning through the imaginary um, 
Seeker head that would be on the front of the aircraft. Um, so then once the missile has um, left the aircraft it will then switch to its own. Uh, it gives us just a little bit more range. I'm going to fire off both 530Ds on this one. Well, launch authority. One. Two. Okay, so now he's got the warning that we are shooting at him. And these are pretty good missiles to be fair. Boom. There we go. So that's the uh, Super 530D. Um, if we go on to... Uh, let's have a look. These are the mattress, AIM 120s. Obviously AIM 9 Pappas there. Um, if we take off electro-optical system, switch on the radar. And we are going to fire off a couple of meteors at another target. They're out there somewhere. Okay, I've spotted some. go, popped up on here, okay, and he's the lone one that got away, okay so he's just in range, one meter, two meter, tracking, He's down. Okay, so that's um, Meteors and Super 530Ds. Okay, so we're going to use the AIM-9 Pappas. away. Oh, still got him. Okay, we're going to switch to cannon for this one. Let's see if we can get this bad boy. There we go. Right, okay, so that's air-to-air, -air, beyond visual range and infrared seeking missiles using the radar and electrical optical system. Um, not a brilliant tutorial, but it gives you the basics. Um, it takes a lot of practice with the old Russian avionics because it's just completely different to what I'm used to. But anyway, let's get out beyond visual range mode. That's... Um, yeah, that's those systems and missiles all in a nutshell. Um, so I hope that's helped somebody. And as always, take care and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.